Hello everyone and welcome back to Dual Destinies. Let's continue on. Sorry boss, I couldn't do it. You know that little bit of advice you gave me? The worst times when the lawyers have to force their biggest smiles? I don't know exactly what you meant. But there was no way I could force a smile in that courtroom today. I'm just glad you remembered that. But now how about relaxing a little? R relax Not gonna happen! Oh, Ju Junie, she asked me to defend her because she believes in me. But I... I felt completely helpless if it weren't for their confessions. I... But if this trial proceeds in the same manner and ends in the same way as the mock trial, would you not lose everything you've worked so hard to gain? Well, I'll just have to make sure that doesn't happen then, won't I? No, I can't lose it all. Not now! You okay, Athena? You're turning kind of pale. I can't just stand around here! I'm going to finish the investigation! Can't! Can't it wait? I just took a batch of freshly baked cookies out of my magic panties! Thanks, but I'd better get going. Say anyone when I get back! Apollo! You wait here! I need to see Junie at the detention center first, right away! No, wait! I'm going with you! Sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'd better go too. No problem. You two be careful. Oh. oh, okay. There's so much I need to ask Junie. What happened in court today? Where do we go from here? Oh, it's you. Well now, fancy meeting you here. Oh, Professor Hings! What brings you here? I asked him to come. He arrived just a little bit before you. I want to ask him something, but first, Athena... I want to apologize for my sudden confession after you worked so hard to defend me. She was calling me Thena until just now. No, I should be the one apologizing. The whole sp thing spiraled out of my control. Athena, I- Don't worry! I'll bring it tomorrow! I'll find something to prove your innocence! How about that? Athena, I've been thinking of asking Professor Means to defend me. Huh? I myself only just heard of this a moment ago. Oh, so she thinks Professor Means would be... No, I can't let this happen. Not with the way he wants to do things. J Judy! I know, Athena, but will you please hear me out? Well, that's sad. Athena, do you actually think Hugo Robin could have committed this crime? The body was moved right before the mock trial. Besides, Judy, there were only wounds. Who could have moved who could have moved freely around the campus at that time? I'm sorry, Junie, but at this point I can't rule them out. I was afraid of you'd say that. Juniper is seeking a lawyer who can clear all three of their names. Only oh, I'm capable of such a feat. Phoenix Wright would be able to do it. But but how can you possibly prove all three of them are innocent? I am result I am a result oriented person. Come tomorrow and I won't fail to have the perfect piece of evidence ready. For the end really does justify the means. Especially for me, Professor Aristotle means. Ugh, I really don't like that sound of that. I'm sorry, but... Just as you believe I'm innocent, I believe my friends are innocent too. Alright. If that's how you really feel, we'll respect your decision. Apollo! But we want to continue our investigation. Can we ask you some more questions? Sure, I don't mind. Professor Means, would you like to stay and join in on our conversation? Yes, of course. I am your lawyer, after all. This, though, no. there's that smile again. Why does it always creep me out? About your confession, Junie, it's not true, is it? You just said you what you did because Robin had confessed on the stand, didn't you? Yes, I wasn't thinking straight. All I knew was I had to help my friend. Oh, You mean because of that, of that school rule? The one that says you can't graduate if you are convicted of a crime? No, I didn't do it because of some rule. I did it because she's my friend. Oh, goodness. Why is there discord in her voice again? Could it really be that friendship between the three of them is on the rocks? I mean, they did just find out one of their friends is a girl. I don't know if that, that shouldn't change much, but like, I don't know. There's more here than meets the eye. 
when did the three of you first become friends? Well, even though we were in different courses, we really bonded from their first day of school. We vowed to work together to bring an end to the dark age of the law. That was when our pr pr friendship came about. That's adorable. <laughs> Here's that proof of friendship thing again. I just wish it was as simple as that. <laughs> we even have proof of our friendship. Yeah! As long as our friendship lasts, we can be you can bet we'll be carrying them around. But the situation kind of changed recently. When the school's policy shifted to training legal professionals who produce results. Allow me to explain. In the lawyer course, I teach producing results means winning trials. That's terrible. Professor Court, on the other hand, thought that training the truth was only a valid result. This is why Clavier turned out better! <laughs> Unfortunately, that class of ideals what? It created a rift among our students. I just- No, she teaches the lawyer course, right? Hold on. Oh, hold on a minute. This is important. Uh, lawyer... But she was the judge. You were a judge teacher? Alright. At some point, we stopped talking about it. While that meant fewer arguments, it also meant we couldn't be as frank and open with each other as we used to be. I think I understand now. By putting their friendship on a pedestal, they actually did more harm than good. It seems the relationship between the three of them isn't as simple as I thought. Juniper, thank you for talking to us about this difficult subject. Yes. Yeah, thanks, Judy. Now if you could tell us about the day of the murder. Junie, you told us yesterday that you went home a little after 6 p.m. Was that a lie? I'm sorry I didn't tell you this before, but... What actually happened was I left the art room a little after 6 p.m. and... Headed over to my dressing room where I worked on my stage costume until 7. That's it? You didn't go anywhere else? No, nowhere else. That's really where... Then there would be no reason to lie in the first place. She's gotta be hiding something else. Junie... Did you remember this picture? Yes, but there's something wrong here. Wrong? What's wrong? I took this picture at around 6 p.m., which was before I left the art room. But the clock here says it's just after 7. By 7, I had already been working on my dressing room for some time. So there's definitely something wrong with the time in this picture. Oh. Hmm, I guess we better go check the art room. Okay, just one last question about the day of the murder. On the evening before the mock trial, the evening of the murder, you ran into Hugh. Yes, I did. Aww. Around 7.15, I went to the main building before going home. That's when I saw Juniper. We didn't say much as we passed each other. She seemed her usual self. That's it. Anything else you'd like to ask? She suddenly went silent. She's always so was terrible at hiding things. Was she trying to keep their meeting a secret by lying about it by going home at 6? Alright, I won't press the matter any further. Is there anything else you noticed on the night of the murder? Well, I don't know if this will help, but... That evening I went back to my dressing room to get something I'd forgotten there. It was well after the last bell rang. I'd say maybe around 8.30? Around 8.30, huh? That's over an hour after the crime was supposedly took place. That's when I noticed I had both the statues were finished. They were quite large and they were each covered in a white sheet, but I couldn't tell. It made me happy to think that after all the hard work, they were finally finished. Oh, Alright, the statues that Robin made. So they were covered in white sheets. J Judy, are you okay? Sorry, I am a little tired. That's all. Uh, Athena, I think this meeting's over. Professor Means? I will use any means possible to get the results I want to Juniper's case. That's terrible. If this is Clavier's teacher, this explains so much. But it will require considerable preparation, so I must be off. Junie! And Professor Means! I have a proposal! A proposal? Wait, this isn't another one of your crazy- Bye!
nice sundown today. Yes. I, Athena Sykes, along with Apollo Justice. Well, wait a second. Don't drag my name into... We're going to discover the truth behind this murder mystery. What? And we're going to do it by bringing you solid evidence just showing what the truth is. I see. So it has come to this, has it? If you succeed in doing that, I want you to promise me that you'll accept it, Junie, no matter how hard it is to hear. Then you shouldn't need anyone else to defend you except me. Have we got a deal? I trust that's okay with you too, Professor Means. I have no objections as long as Unibur is satisfied with this arrangement. Okay, but only if the, it's really the truth. I'm sorry to put you through this, Nina, but thank you. I've been thinking only of myself this whole time. Junie, it's way too hard to thank me. But you can thank me all you want once I get to the bottom of this. Very well. I will see you back here at sundown. Sorry for all the trouble, Professor. It's just she's new to the agency, so... Don't be silly. I find it all rather thrilling. Now let us meet here again later. If you'll excuse me, I better go. Okay, see you later. What if this trial proceeds in the same manner and ends in the same way as the mock trial? Would you not lose everything you've worked so hard to gain? Jesus, that's haunting. Ugh, this is no time to be thinking about that. I've got an investigation to do. I will find the truth by sundown, no matter what. Oops, not that. Okay. Uh, there, move. <laughs> Sorry, I've been pulling on the DS a lot lately, so... I'm used to not that, for not having everything in one screen. Ah! Ah! Is it my imagination or did something just move? Oh, hello! <laughs> Afternoon, you two! Prosecutor Gavin, what are you doing here? Don't you think sneaking on a campus like this is just slightly suspicious? I'll have you know, I'm counting continuing my investigation in the strictest of confidence. I don't want to be caught napping again at tomorrow's trial. And that means a thorough investigation today. I think it lend us a hand, right? I am not one to refuse a damsel in distress. Oh my god. <laughs> but you needn't ask, Fraulein. I intended that from the start. You're the best prosecutor, Gavin. Okay, time for a thorough investigation. I bet we missed a lot of stuff yesterday. Can I talk to you? Oh, okay. Prosecutor Gavin, were you scheduled to perform at the school's festival, weren't you? That's right, but I hadn't seen the stage until yesterday. That backdrop with the starry sky and the big crescent moon is not bad. We also had some tricks up our sleeves to make our concert really rock. Pyrotechnics, a fog machine, big banners, and things like that. It would look like this. Oh, the plans from yesterday! What's that design on the banner in the back? I know the scales are the school's emblem. But what's with the number six? It looks like it's in a serious pain or something. Uh, Athena! Ixne on the Xe. And that's the governor's logo, Fraulein. Oh, and the nice pink Latin air for it. Really smooth. <laughs> oh, sh oh, I, uh, I mean, it looks like the number six rocking seriously hard. Nine, Fraulein. It's a G for governors, not a six. But whatever floats your pretty boat. Oh my god. So, where's the banner? I don't see it anywhere on stage. It was an important part of the show, but the school managed to misplace it somehow. It's a pity we had it specifically made for the heavyweight high grade cloth. A missing banner and two broken statues. There are mysteries are plenty to be solved, y'all. Yeah? Come to think of it, one of the broken statues was Prosecutor Gavin. <laughs> I don't think you want to tell him that. Oh, are we going to tell him that? As you can see here in the stage plans. Right here, we have the statue of me. Well... 
And right there, a right statue. But it doesn't matter now, as we both lie in pieces thanks to you. Air for it! <laughs> what did I ever do to you? You kind of... Really? The entirety of Apollo Justice, man. Actually, the statue broke into rather large pieces. Why don't we try and put it back together? Maybe we'll learn something new. Hmm, picking up the pieces of a shattered rock star. Action! That's one er cool idea. There might even be a song in there somewhere. Yay! Let's do this! Schnell! This is an investigation. Am I interrupting a German language cult club uh, social event? <laughs> oh, I love it! I want more of this! I need to get closer. I don't know. This is a this is fine for a rock concert, but the night night nighttime sky back as the sky backdrop for the courtroom. Personally, I think it's breathtaking. I mean, speaking of the truth, under a starry sky, don't you think it's romantic, Fraulein? And the worn crust moon represents the maximum three-day trial cycle. Three-day trials outdoors? No thanks. If it starts raining, my hair will be ruined. Oh, I didn't want that, but <laughs> all right. Oh, wait, how do I get to the... God, Clavier, you're always a delight. Oh, can I not? There we go, okay. It's a copy of the school paper with that story about the alleged love triangle. I wonder if people really waste their time reading this stuff. It's more popular than you think. Well, what was that? Oh, what was that? I thought I heard something just now. You're just hearing things. It was nothing more than your ears playing tricks on you. Hmm. Oh, do I have to go over there? Another statue Robin made. It's been smashed to bits. If there's still some larger pieces, we might be able to put this one back together too. Yeah, but all I can see are itty bitty ones. I wonder what Mr. Riot would think. If he knew we put Prosecutor Gavin's statue back together but left his like this. <laughs> we could always come back to it after the case is solved. I'll help you fix it. Oh, okay, that was nice. Found one! A piece of Prosecutor Gavin's shattered pride! <laughs> Are you saying my pride is as proud as plaster of Paris? It looks like there are other large pieces scattered about. Okay, let's find what we can. Oh my god, this is the trio we need. Oh man. I know there's one here right in front of me, don't worry. Found another piece of the statue. But there are still so be more. Let's leave no stone unturned. Oh god. This is the trio we need. Why is, do we not have a game on these three? Oh, what's this? What if I tap this? I'm just curious. The winner of the mock trial was to take the training cinema right here. You mean Hugo Robin? Yeah, besides Jenny, they're the only ones who could move freely around the campus. For the mock trial, that means one of them must be the killer. It's not really enough to go on, is it? We need to talk with Juniper one more time and persuade her to give us a name. Right. And that means we have to find irrefutable evidence before the day ends. There's no time to lose. You can't rush it either. Efficiency is key. Okay. Let's put the box. Wait. You don't think this weird box here is... Hands off. I knew it. I know that voice anywhere. Let's just ignore it. I mean, it's made his wishes loud and clear. That this is the future of cardboard box technology has affordable affordable us. Uh. Okay, let's go find the more of pieces of Clavier Gavin's pride. God, that was funny. Ugh. Right, let's go back over there. You put it together. Oh wait, am I supposed to pick up this one? Found another piece of the statue. But there should be still some more. Let's leave no stone unturned. How much more? Oh, okay. What to say? Oh, wait, no. Oh no, 
prosecutor Gavin, you're a complete wreck. Literally. Why in the world would someone do something like this? I don't know, but whoever did it must have felt an amazing sense of release. <laughs> Holy. Do I think that there's a confession in for it? Oh my. What? No. I feel bad for Robin. She worked so hard on these. Let's pick it up the pieces for her. We've got to let's check every corner of the stage then, y'all. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, there it is. Found another piece of the statue. But there still should be some more. Let's leave no stone unturned. How many more? God. As we can. What Where else am I supposed to look? Is there anything back here? They go up there. I can go up here. Alright. This looks like another piece of the statue. Thanks, Apollo. This makes five pieces in all. I think we have all we're going to find. Okay, let's get back to where the prosecutor Gavin's statue was shattered. I think you might want to reword that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I might have read that wrong. Can I go back? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been way too much fun with this chaotic trio. Hold on, before we continue this, I need to see that. What did I say? Okay, let's get back to where Prosecutor Kevin was shattered. I think I might want to run that. Okay. Well, I don't see any other big pieces lying around. Yeah, let's see if we can put this statue back together. All right, Apollo, you come over here and Prosecutor Gavin, if you could hold this. They put that back together? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! Not bad if I do say so myself. Yeah, but don't you think it's strange? We put the statue back together, but look. Let's put all these leftover white pieces. Hmm, these look like they go together. And these pieces too! Uh, Athena, what do you think you're doing? Don't stop me now! The artist inside me wants to get out and have a good time! Oh! We rebuilt everything but Phoenix right. That's about right. So, what is it? Ah, uh, it's the goddess of law holding a pair of scales in one hand and a sword in the other. That's quite the feat you pulled off there, Fraulein. Phew! I love the feeling when you get we have to really work hard on something. No, 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 no! I know who it was! I meant to ask, what's it doing here? Not sure. There's no study like this in the stage plans. Still, I could swear I've seen this statue somewhere before. We took a picture, right? We're not carrying that around, because I don't think Apollo could carry that. The more we learn, the deeper the rabbit hole goes. At least we're moving in the right direction. Let's keep searching the stage for clues. I've been wondering about something this whole time. You know, that pole at the edge of the stage? What pole? Oh! <laughs> you mean this? There's a word that goes off and connects to something somewhere. Oh god, why? Oh my god! I'm examining that first! Not the open window. An impressive building for, it for an impressive school. Yeah, and there's a beautiful wall and like a big blank canvas. See? My shoe prints really <laughs> leave a really distinct mark. Hey, cut that out before you get us in trouble! <laughs> oh my god! This chaotic energy! I need this! This white is hanging the banners over there on the stage. One of the policemen who was here earlier was checking how it worked. Oh, so that's what the banner looks like. It's out of place. Who checked it out? The banners are hung and removed from the art room over there. That's the art room over there? As in the scene of the crime! Bingo for all that. It's still crowding with cops, though. Hey! Anyone in the art room? Oh my god! Oh, it's you people! Ah ha ha ha! In justice we trust! And uh, it's Detective Fulbright! In justice we trust! Is that some kind of rating between you two? Detective Fulbright! Can you lower that banner from there? Of course! Just leave it to me! Uh, okay. How is that? <laughs> Woo! Thanks, Detective! In justice we trust! Ha ha ha! Always glad to help! In justice we trust! 
So is that some kind of breathing between you two or not? I'm still confused. <laughs> oh, looks like the banner's down now. Let's go take a look. Oh my god, this is the chaotic energy. Hold on, I didn't do something before. I... Well, wait. Does, does the dialogue change here? There's even a prosecutor's bench here on the stage. Ah, the memory's falling. As a famed rocker star, the prosecutor. The prosecutor's bench just taught me much about human emotions, passion, and fight. I can picture now. You with your silver singing voice and a pulse sweating bullets. Hey, how about picturing me winning once in a while? Huh. No, you're pun you're the punching bag. I I'm just going for the dialogue here at this point. This is purely for me. The body's gone. All that's left is the white outline. Never knew Professor Court personally. But seeing her reduced to a white outline leaves me cold inside. But in a way, she still lives on in the messages she left behind. Like the strange way her body was posed and the sign of her wrist being bound. You're right. Let's use her final message to catch their killer. Clavier is just freaking out in the <laughs> over there. Wow, they built a witness stand too, even though it's just temporary stage. Oh, but I think they're still working on it. Let's see what this notice says. Caution. Pedestal features a high-speed rotation mode. Activate with care. Why? You mean this thing spins? Who did this? Ooh, I like the view. The judge can look down on everything from up here. Yeah, not bad for a temporary stage. Hmm, is that so, Mr. Justice? <laughs> Your judge act for the mock mock trial? I don't know why, but it kind of creeps me out. Wrong answer again, Mr. Justice. A penalty for our mock lawyer. Ah! That's not funny! <laughs> okay, I've had my fun. Let's go and continue the investigation. Look at this banner. I don't think it would flop very well in the wind. An unflappable banner. Hey, I like that. I guess it goes perfect with unfuffle lawyers and unfuffle rockers. It's like it was made for this stage. Look at this. The bottom part is all knotted up. Let me try and unravel it. Give gloves. Oh, jeez! Did you really have to? Yeah. Uh, you don't come across an unflappable banner every day. I see, there are some things that have to yield to the forces beyond themselves. What a cruel world we live in. What the frick? Hey, a scrap of paper was caught up inside. It's blowing away! I got it! Yes! Great catch, huh? Oh. Let's look at some kind of note. What does it say? October, you've 120. What's that supposed to mean? A that score, maybe? Pretty impressive when you consider that 100 is a perfect score. I don't see how even you can get beyond a perfect. Fraulein, should we inspect the banner again now that it's been unraveled? Sure. This is the emblem that's on Junie's school uniform. Hey, you're right. Wait a sec. It's hard to see against the red material, but look. There's a dark red stain here just under the emblem. This banner was on a wire connected to the art room. Right, and the art room is where the murder occurred. You think what I'm thinking? This stain might be from the victim's blood! <laughs> the statue does look like anything you are, you or Mr. Wright. The goddess is better than the scales and the sword. She has a symbol of fairness and strength. But she and her symbols were shattered along with the statues of you, Mr. Wright! This is a direct challenge to the rule of law! Well, if they want to fight, they've got one! Whoa, take it down a notch, Tiger. Let's save it for fighting. The fighting for when we find our culprit. Oof! That was a whole lot of poking around in such a short amount of time. Does that mean you're satisfied? Actually, there was one more thing I wanted to check out. You see the metal fence back there? There's just one segment, so it seems out of place. It looks like they were in process of removing them after the stage was set up. But they were never able to finish it on account of the matter. You should take a look at it if you think it could be important. 
Jesus, is it banged up? Hmm. This track looks man-made. Hey, you're right. It looks like it starts from behind the backdrop. Maybe it's a big money pro wrestler was hiding back there. Oh, that was totally random, but we'll never know until we take a look. <laughs> oh. Looks like there's something else being dragged around here, here. And it, this is where it started. Yeah, but whatever it was, it's long gone. It must have been pretty heavy. Perhaps it was used in setting up the school festival. Oh, then I guess it wasn't a pro wrestler. So this could be something important. Well, that's about it for the stage. Right. I think we better get searching the art room next. I think I'll hang around here for a while. But make sure to tell me once you find it, yeah? Find what? What else? The governor's banner that disappeared from the stage! You never know, it just might be connected to the case at hand. Really? Or does he just want his banner back? <laughs> Don't tell me. So in short, that's... Hmm? Hey! No, oh, it's you. That box! It just took off running! I have a pretty good idea who it was, as I suspect you do too. Come on! We can't afford to have any weird articles written about us! The maintenance area is over in that direction! After that box! <laughs> okay, that's all today for this episode. Thank you all for watching, and be sure to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye!